Hello and welcome to the chapter of Time Machine on dealing with music in iTunes and recovering our data. Now unlike iPhoto, it's not simply from the library. You actually have to go and scavenge the volume a little bit, which can be kind of tricky. So I have a nice clean empty iTunes when I want to bring something from like last night back. Now sometimes that's the easiest way is to actually purge your whole iTunes catalog and then bring everything back that you know was good. That's, and I'll show you why. So let's bring up Time Machine, and we're in iTunes. Unfortunately, when we bring up Time Machine, it hides iTunes and brings you to the desktop. It does not simply bring up the iTunes interface like it does in iPhoto. So let's go back in time to, let's say yesterday at eight o'clock. Now we go into our music folder, we have to manually navigate to where our music is kept. Now most of the time it should be on the music folder. Sometimes people do keep libraries on external drives and you'll have to go find that. So we go music, iTunes. Now the way iTunes works is it has a library and this keeps track of all your songs. So if you bring the, just the songs over, so if we went into iTunes music and selected you know, like Beethoven, and we hit restore. It'll bring it into our hard drive, but iTunes will not load it because the library itself does not know it's there. It actually has a database that keeps track of where the music is, what playlist it is, and things like that. And since we didn't bring over that database, it doesn't know it's there. Now we could go navigate to our music folder, iTunes, iTunes music, here's that Beethoven, and we could drop it in iTunes and manually add that song that way. So that's the long way perhaps to do it, but I know if I have a nice clean library now empty and I want to bring my full library from before, there's a nice way to do that. So let's go back in the time machine. We're going to go yesterday at 8 o'clock, I know it was a good library then navigate to our music so we're gonna go music iTunes what I probably want to do is grab all this stuff here and I actually can go back one folder and grab this whole iTunes folder and hit restore and I am going to replace the one I have because I know I don't want it there was really nothing there Either I intentionally threw everything away once I knew it was messed up, or for some reason it did get messed up and was lost. So we'll let this copy over. It's only going to take a few seconds. Now right now in the top you can see my library is backing up. Well, everything is backing up actually, Time Machine. If this is a hindrance, I can actually stop it from backing up. And that will stop it. Sometimes, especially if you have an older machine, when that time machine kicks in, sometimes it, you actually know it's doing something that slows down your machine. Not usually, but sometimes. Okay, it copied that folder over. Now we open up iTunes. There's how it was last night, all our songs. So it's a little bit tricky in the sense you have to navigate to it manually. But at least it's a great feeling knowing it's going to be how it's left. And even the playlist and everything else are the same. So that's kind of a nice feeling too. So that's it for recovering from iTunes. If you find yourself in a panic situation and you've lost everything and this video doesn't work, submit a question. We'll see if I can look into it a little bit deeper for you. Thank you very much.